Mm -hmm. Our guest this morning is best known as a member of the League of Gentlemen and as Mick in the comedy series Benidorm. At the moment, though, he's in the uh, smash ITV drama Whitechapel. You play another eccentric type. Yeah. Steve Funny Pemberton that, you keep getting, is here. Uh, you get in, uh, <laughs> keep getting cast as eccentric types. Are they easier to play, a bit eccentric, rather than a straight down the middle? I think it's more interesting uh, and very different characters as well. You couldn't get more different from Benidorm. You know, to be in Whitechapel. I so. love Benidorm. <laughs> i got to say, it makes me giggle. <laughs> I mean, so when you, it's a massive hit. Do you get a sense, when you were first in it, do you get a sense this is going to be a hit? or? We thought it, 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 might, it might do because, you know, you're, you're looking at the history of, of, of the area and uh, the first one was about Jack the Ripper, yes. uh, which is an unsolved case. No one knew who Jack the Ripper was, so there's still an interest in it today. Mm -hmm. And to contrast, you know, the present and the past, which it, what Whitechapel does, um, we thought there might be, uh, you know, a lot of interest, but we didn't realise it'd be as big as it was. Mm -hmm. It's that fearful sort of second album syndrome, though, because the first series was so huge, obviously, the mm. second one, the pressure's on, isn't it? Yeah, well, they took the, uh, the idea of the craze and which is another real legend in the East End of course unlike Jack the Ripper people know who the craze are yeah. mm -hmm. and the craze were obsessed with their own legend and and they'd be delighted with this show I think they'd be very happy yeah. if they were well, still alive. Just as well for your sake because there's still people in that area you wouldn't want to upset aren't there? So, Absolutely uh, yes no they researched it very well. Okay yeah. let's uh, let's have a little look. The detective who caught the craze Nipper Reed said that it was attention to detail that was the key to making the arrests. I'm willing to bet that you already have the answer, you just haven't realised it yet. You must look at everything again very, very closely. The key is there. But not another word from me. Ever. Excellent, uh, excellent stuff, Steve. We did a little kind of informal poll um, because, um, and our means for doing so was the lifts. I don't know whether you came in the front entrance here at uh, Daybreak Towers, but on the lifts, there's a, there's a lift with Whitechapel on it. If you look there, oh, yes. and there, to our internal embarrassment, there's a lift with us two on it, <laughs> and we we've done. We got set Leon, one of our best men, yeah, on seeing who chose to go into which lift. He was busy all afternoon yeah. doing this, you know. We had a really? suspicion it might actually just to do with which one came first, but uh, <laughs> maybe it was to do with preference for the show. Mm. And I think we got the results we now. Have. Leon, could you bring them Leon, in, please? Leon, could you bring them in? Thank you very yeah. much indeed. And the winner is, ladies and gentlemen, Whitechapel came in with 221. Passengers, yeah. daybreak, <laughs> 253. Oh, we've tranced you. <laughs> I think people wouldn't know what to expect if they were in the White Chapel. No, <laughs> they'd well, be a bit scared that it would that close and they'd never get You know what they're getting with us. Yeah. <laughs> Fair um, enough, yeah. So, um, what's your, um, where, do you want, where do you want to take your career next? Are there eccentrics out there you still want to play? Oh, definitely. Uh, I've got uh, a show called Psychover, which I write as well. Yeah. And we've got a Halloween special coming up. And we're right in the middle of doing Benidorm. You couldn't get more eccentric. You can't. Uh, yeah. Choice of shows. I always think you in comedy, though, to be okay. fair. So I, I do love that. It's good to see you okay, still great doing better well. Thanks very Thank much. you so much. Thank you Steve. for having Thank me. You. Here's what your weekend weather's up to, Kirsty. <laughs>